Okay, it's my second time trying this after leveling up. The only problem I have, dude, is if I, I don't have super potions. If I had super potions, this would be a lot easier. Why do I only have regular ass potions? They do nothing to help me. But here we are. It's my second time doing this after leveling up. Everyone on my team is at least 26. I've seen everything he has. So the guy on the left is Execute, Chatot, and the Pulse Tangrowth. The guy on the right side has Glaceon, Umbreon, Espeon. Ah, okay. I need this to work. So I need a Thunder Wave U. And I am going to Nasty Plot. Yeah. I need this Glaceon to get Thunder Waved. It has to get Thunder Waved. Has to. It'll be slower. It'll miss a couple of times, hopefully. Last time I did this, it did not miss, which is was a problem. I need Slick to live this. Slick couldn't live it. God damn it, dude. Last time Slick lived, made my life a little easier. Shit, the problem is... You're weak to ice, you're weak to grass, and you're weak to ice. So these three cannot go against these two. So the only one I can go with is Reaper right here. Let's charm you, because you have bullet seeds. Let's charm you. Psybeam. Should we poison gas it? Let's poison gas it. I failed. Wait, what? If, oh, I think it failed on the Glaceon. Yeah, I need you poison. I'm not sure if this thing knows anything besides Bullet Seed. That's the thing. Okay. Now that you're poisoned, we charmed the Execute. This Glaceon is Icy Wind, Quick Attack, Swift, and something else. I don't know if, what it has its fourth move as. So charming it won't really do much. So do we just start wailing on the Execute? No, we'll start wailing on the Glaceon. Start wailing on the Glaceon. Just to get it down a little bit. I don't want it... That did a lot. That did more than I thought it was going to do. Holy shit, is Reaper going to kill this thing? Please don't kill it. Thank you. Okay, that's good enough health for now. You got a critical hit! Well, now we have to kill it. It's probably going to send out... S if I send out 420, it's probably going to send out Espeon next. So I have to go to Todd. I do have Cotton Candy. I have four Cotton Candy. So I can re they're basically just revives. I have four of those. I have to get rid of this Execute if I'm going to keep Todd in. This Execute has got to go. did charm it, so it's not going to do too much, but still doing a decent amount. Three gets me down to half health. It's gone. Okay. Chatter. This thing was annoying as shit because of Chatter. Chatter is the most fucking annoying thing in the fucking world. I'm hoping I can just take him down right now. Okay. I'm actually glad he did that to Todd instead of Creeper. I'm not glad that he hit himself, but I'm glad he did that to Todd instead. Oh my god! You are so fucking... Okay. Todd's gonna die next turn no matter what, so we need... We need a common candy. The Pulse Tangrowth is coming out next. Having Soundwave out would be the best... The only thing is we need to get rid of this Glaceon right now if we're going to throw Soundwave out. It's Common Candy U. And we're going to try to get rid of this Glaceon. Or actually, no. He can handle the Glaceon because he should be faster than it. It's paralyzed, so he should be faster. So let's try to get rid of this Chatot. You Super Potion the Chatot. I still should kill. Oh my god, Todd, you lived. You're a god. Okay, that killed. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, 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 okay. What now, what now, what now? This thing's gonna be rock. Should I use Todd's turn to heal? He's gonna die. I 
kind of want to get slick up. Actually, no, I want a super potion reaper because I want to. Ah. I don't. I'm just gonna heal creeper, and you are going to get rid of the glaceon. Glaceon needs to go if we're gonna send out sound wave. Glaceon needs to go. I can't believe you actually fucking. He's only been paralyzed once, I think. Once. Come on, dude. Reaver's trying to learn a wake-up slap. See, this happened last time, but I don't know if I want to get rid of anything for wake-up slap. Like, it could help for the Umbreon we're going to go against, but so could Disarming Voice, so it doesn't really... Like, I don't really need wake-up slap. Okay, we can eat Acid Sprays. I don't like that special defense drop, but we can eat him. Is he going to send out Umbreon? Yes, he did. Okay. Okay, uh... Air Cutter's gonna hit both. That's good, I guess. This Umbreon's gonna kill me for sure, I think. So I'm wondering if I should just let him die. Heal up Reaper. Send it out in Perish Song. I think that's what we're gonna try. Tangrel, if we perish on him, Tangrel's dead in three turns because it can't switch out. He didn't... What? He didn't go for... Wow. I was 110% expecting him to go for the... Okay, well, it's perish song. You're gonna... Poison gas just in case. That didn't do much. I, I, actually, I'm actually... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna charm the Umbreon because it's it's faint attack. That's its uh its thing there, faint attack. I just realized this this Umbreon and the Espeon both have fucking synchronized, which is annoying as shit. Okay, we gotta go. You're switching out, you're probably just gonna die, so I'm gonna heal somebody up. Who you're weak to grass. Slick has terrible defense. I guess Soundwave. Yeah, I was expecting him to die. Ah. Just gonna grow. I'm gonna use your turn to revive somebody else, probably Creeper. Cause if, if this Umbreon doesn't switch out, then all it has, le all that's left is Umbreon or Espeon, and we should be fine against an Espeon. If we revive, if we have revive Creeper, we should be fine because he can take whatever he has coming towards him. So I just gotta wait this out. Hopefully the Umbreon doesn't switch out. I'm really hoping it just doesn't switch out. This Tangrowth's dead no matter what. You can try to switch out, but it's not going to work. Okay. Is the Umbreon going to switch this turn is the question. If we're expecting it to switch out this turn, I'm going to Mega Drain and Round. Should, I don't know. Like, if I'm expecting it to come out, I should hit it twice, right? But if it doesn't... Whatever, let's do it. Okay, it didn't switch out. Okay. 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 Can we get, get a level? No. Okay. I was just doing that in case it switched out. So we can get two free hits on the S Umbreon. Whatever. They're both going down. All that's left is the Umbreon. Left side's done. We just have Umbreon. Or not Umbreon. Espeon. And I feel like Creeper should be fine. 420's gonna die to this Espeon. Like, 420! <laughs> we can try to get a Mega Drain off. This thing's gonna Psybeam me though. It's faster. 
So I don't really feel like there's a point. So we're just going to use your turn to heal up somebody that can take hits. This thing knows Future Sight, Psybeam, Swift, I think? We have two Cotton Candies. So who can take Psychic Attacks? Reaper can... I mean, ev everyone's neutral. Let me check their stats. Who has the best special defense? Forty-five, thirty-seven, twenty-five, twenty-eight. But in all honesty, it's Todd who has the best defenses. So I guess we'll go that route. We have two, so we can heal up somebody else if need be. I'm gonna poison it. I was expecting that. It has synchronized, so Creeper's gonna get poisoned right back. But I'm going to take the next turn to heal. Like, I might just sack off Todd. If he tries to hit Todd, I'm going to sack off Todd's turn. Do I have anything good to heal? I have a full restore. Okay, we can use that full restore on Creeper. Wait, do I want to use his turn? Who's my faster mon? Actually, no. Todd might die. So I don't want to risk him trying to hit this thing. And you... I think I want to nasty plot this Espeon. I wanted, I wanted to not use Psybeam for a little while. Let's just take two turns to heal. It future sights, it's not going to hit now. And I think it has like Swift or something, but it's not Stab. Oh, it's Quick Attack, that's what it has. Alright, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Let's just start wailing on this thing. Mudshot, Psybeam. Start wailing. Yeah, it does know Swift. So a new Swift and Quick Attack. Let's just start wailing. We're good. Oh my god. It took two tries. After This is the second time I'm doing this. The first time I recorded this, we came close. It came down to the Umbreon, but we had only our only mod left is Creepers. Creeper versus Umbreon, and I think you know how that's going to turn out. So Last time it did not go well, but this time, you know, things just went our way. Ah... This game gets me thinking, that's what I like. It gets me thinking. Like, I have to think every single turn, what's gonna happen, what might happen. Oh, I love that about this game. Ah. There we go, we defeated Zell and Taka. Still? Oh well. Well, that's not good, it's a Crobat, holy shit. The pulse has been deactivated. There is no longer any purpose in defending this location. In that case, I'm just gonna make myself scarce. You coming? Um, I, uh, I, I guess so. <laughs> Why stay here? Cha. So they ran away. Crowbat return. D <laughs> I'll run away too. <laughs> hey, wait. Where are you going? Salamence return. And she's going after him. Okay. Pulse 5A. I oh, wonder what the other pulses were. Whatever. Oh shit, this guy got caught by the cops! Nowhere to run. You're completely surrounded. Ch, an ambush. Annoying. The grunts were supposed to detain the city officers. Oh, they did. It's thanks to Mark's efforts that we were able to rescue our forces. What if I didn't help anybody? <laughs> like, helping them was optional. What if I decided not to help the officers? Would this have turned out different? I'm kind of interested in that now. Let me know. If any of you have played this before, let me know if this would have changed like the scenario right here. If I decided not to help any officer at all. <laughs> Just let them all do what they're doing. Because all of them I'm pretty sure are optional. Like you can help them if you need to, but you don't have to. So let me know if that would change this scenario right here. You. Now, let's find out who you really are. Dad? What the fuck? It's her father? You just had to do this in front of her. I knew you were a jerk, but I didn't think you were evil. I... I can't. Salamence, let's go. Well then, this is easier if she isn't here. Cory, leader of the Barrel Ward Gym, right? I don't understand. The gym leaders are among Reborn's most trusted citizens. 
Why help Team Meteor? Ha. Never put too much stock in authority. Welcome to reality. It's cold, it's cruel, it's life. You mean there are others? You'd be stupid to think otherwise. Not everything is so nice and simple. Your paradise candy land is just a crack dream. Those are some big words for someone who's going to be facing the judge. Are they? You've done nothing here. You've unmasked a father before his daughter. You showed her what all girls eventually learn. <laughs> Pain. And that's all. You want to apprehend me? I'll be waiting in my gym. Oh, I gotta fight him. God damn it. He had a crowbat, so I'm guessing- and he has purple hair, so I'm guessing he's a poison type gym leader. I mean, we have a ground type. We have a psychic type. We have a poison type of our own that's also part grass, so I guess neutral. So, uh, we don't- we have only one mon I think that's weak, and that's our fairy. Huh? He just vanished? It's obviously a trap, but we know where he's going. Let's head out. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm guessing I'm the one that's gonna have to do this, though. All right. Poison Jim. So Creeper is probably our go-to, followed by Todd. Uh, he might ha the poison types if they're part grass. Soundwave can handle it, and then we have 420. Reaper and Slick are gonna have to probably chill in the back. At least there's a Pokemart here. That's great. I don't think we're going to beat this on the first try. But at least we'll get to see what's going on. Got the escape rope. Nice. What are you doing? Can you get some Great Balls up here, please? Guess I'll have to make do the specialty balls from Critical Capture. True. Can I get some Super Potions? Oh, thank you. I have no cash for them. We can always just go, if we need a grind, we can always just go, uh, for the lady who'll give us, like, 300 a fucking, 300 a, uh, a battle. It's not a lot, but, I mean, it, it adds up when we're, like, grinding levels. Hello, trainer. Care to buy some snacks? No. <laughs> you want to know why? Go see for yourself. Found a red shard. Nice. Okay, I'm not going to go that way. Actually, yeah, let's, let's, go. let's see what's over here. Holy shit, that's a level 25 hero. Okay, who's our fastest mon? 46, 40, 41. Okay, he's our fastest mon. Let's keep him out front. I think we're going to need a grind before we fight this gym leader. What the hell? Okay, I am lagging tits right now. I feel like we're most definitely going to need a grind up before we uh, fight this gym leader. I'm thinking getting everybody to at least... Mm, I'm gonna say 29. Either 20, maybe 30. 30 might be fine. I think the Tangrowth was 28. I don't remember. But I think the Tangrowth was 28. So for me, it might be good to get everybody to 30, because I'm thinking his ace might be around 30. Or at least 28, so it might be around 30. At least that's one thing. Can I get like a Punkaboo from one of these? Monty Belrose. Caroline Belrose. Okay. Yeah, I think before we head into the gym, we're going to go and grind our team up to 30 just to be safe. So I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. And we didn't get everybody to 30 because, again, it's still a bit tedious to train up. But uh, we got three of our mons at 30. Well, 420 was already there. We got Todd to 30, Reaper to 30, Creeper's 28, Soundwave's 29, and then Slick down here at 28. So uh, that's hopefully going to be good enough. Everyone's at least 28, which, I mean, I guess that's all right. Who the hell are you? That was the chief. The situation has taken a turn for the worse. We followed Cory in here, but he vanished. Then those glowing reactors spewed out some kind of gas. My men come 
completely lost it. They're, as you see now, lost and confused. What can we do against this? If you intend to do something, then this may be of use. Oh, should have gave me the field effect. Nice. Okay, we'll have to read that. Please tread carefully. Oh, let's talk to you. Mark? Okay, you're at Cory's gym. Cory sometimes uses something called a corrosive mist field. This scary tactic will poison any active Pokemon that it can, can every single turn. Holy shit. Although that may sound daunting, it has a glaring weakness. Since the poison is tied to the mist, you can use the air against him. The noxious gas is combustible, so fire-type Pokemon can eat right through it. Careful not to use too much fire, though. Or if you bring a Pokemon that can clear the air, all that's left to do is power through his team like normal. As long as you get something, some breathing room will be fine. Oh, one more thing. Some leader's badges won't increase your level cap. Unfortunately, Cory is one of those, so try not to overlevel too much. Good luck. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't look at that, so... Wait, what? It shows right there, though. Level cap 35. And it'll go up to 40. So am I not supposed to be... So I'm not I'm not going to get a gym badge from them, am I? Because am, am I? it says right here. So he's like one of those three down there. He's supposed to be, at least. So we're, that's kind of saying we're not going to get a gym badge from him, then. Because if we do get his badge, we do get a level cap or a level increase. So I'm guessing we're going to be fighting him, but we're not going to be getting a badge from him. All right, before we go in here, let's go ahead and read that field effect. Field notes. It's number 11. Corrosive. Here we go. Okay, so all Pokemon get poisoned each turn. I'm guessing non, you know, non-poison types won't get poisoned. Aqua Ring damages user, unless poison or steel type. Okay, so no Aqua Ring. We don't know it though. Dry skin damages user. Okay. Certain attacks plus poison. All special flying attacks. Bubble beam, bubble, energy ball. So air cutter would be a poison attack, basically. I don't I don't think that's good. Certain attacks up 1.5, acid spray, bubble, bubble beam. Clear Smog, Smog, Sparkling Aria. Certain stat moves, Acid Armor goes up. Activates Venom Drench, okay. Activates Vino Shock, Toxic goes to 100 accuracy. Aftermath damage is 50% of your HP, holy shit. Fire attacks up 1.5, I don't have any fire types though. Activates Merciless, Corros Corrosion damage up 1.5. Floral Healing Poison activates Water Compaction each turn. Destroys these moves. Defog, Eruption, Explosion, or destroyed by these moves. Defog, Eruption, Explosion, Fire Pledge, Flame Burst, Gust, Heat Wave, Hurricane, Lava Plume, Razor Wind, Searing Shot, Self Destruction, Supersonic, Sky Strike, Tailwind, Twister, Whirlwind. We have none of that. God damn it. All Pokemon faint when one of these moves is used. Eruption, Explosion, Fire Pledge, Flame Burst, Heat Wave, Inferno, Lava Plume, Seer Shot, Self Destruction. Pokemon may. Okay. Pokemon with Flash Fire or that are behind Protect. Moves include. Okay. Uh, when Gravity is used, Nature Powers, Acid Spray, Camouflage is Poison, Seeker Power Poison, Activates Elemental Seed. Okay, so the Elemental Seed boosts Attack and Special Attack and badly poisons the user. That's not good. So no Elemental Seed in play here. Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, we can get, do a little grinding in here. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Our main focus is our top four guys. Oh shit, attack! There's a flappy. Adorable. You're going down, Flappy. Damn. So we know his ace is going to be Crobat. That's going to be a little... A little much to handle. A fucking Crobat? Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. 
okay. This growl can take the... I oh, fucking missed. That's wonderful. I was gonna say, the growl can take the hit, but nope, I'm gonna miss. Do that and we'll be fine. We are to serve. Of course, do you know Crunch? You're not using that anymore. You ain't using that anymore, buddy. No crunching for you. Watch him no bite as well. Okay, now he's used takedown. That that almost killed me. Okay, hurt ear. Okay. Fantastic. Why not get burned? Might as well, all right. And I miss. Just life is going well right now. You can already tell life is just great. I miss. I get burned. Ah, everything is great. I might me do a little more grinding after that fucking fire fang. Because if their Pokemon are around 27, 28, I'm scared the gym leader's Pokemon are going to be even higher than that. So I might need to do even more grinding than I already fucking did. We can at least go try to fight the gym leader, see what happens. Can at least give it a shot. One Growlithe took out half my team. That one Growlithe. God, dude. Can't wait till we get some evolutions. So we're looking at it right now. Creeper is fully evolved. You're going to become a Swamp Rat at 36. I need a Leaf Stone for you. You're not doing nothing until you're 48. You'll evolve at 30, 38 and then like again at 46, I believe. And I just need a Moonstone for you. And I don't think I'm going to evolve him until 41 because that's when he learns Hyper Voice. Which I think is the best move he learns through level up, Hyper Voice. All I really need for him, he's going to keep Charm and Perish Song. All I really need is a better Normal and Fairy type attack. So Hyper Voice will replace Round. And then we just, like, he doesn't learn any other Fairy type moves through level up. Like, we find a move relearner, we can teach him Play Nice. Or Play Rough, I mean. So uh, that's going to be the, the best we can do. Unless we get like a TM, I don't know, does Moonblast have a TM? Hopefully it does. Not sure when the hell we'd ever get that, but, you know. Okay, so he's not in here. I remember this gym, though. We have to, like, turn all these to, like, one color, I think. Can we... They change everyone, the two they're next to. Yeah, whatever they're like touching, I think. There we go. Wait. I gotta make them all blue. Fuck. There we go. I didn't know which color I had to make them. Alright, we'll give this a try. I don't think we're going to win our first time, but we'll give it a try and see how it works out. Ah, oh boy. Do we want to? Let's just see what his first Pokemon level is. So you found me after all. First you destroy all three of the Pulse Tangrowth systems that I oversaw. Then you revitalize the city police department, causing them to ambush me. And out me in front of my own daughter. And now what have you come for? My badge or my blood? 
I'll return to the arena. There I will show you mercy, or misery. I will say, why are you going to show me mercy? <laughs> Alright, I just want to see what level is first bonds at real quick. Hold on. I need... I just want a screenshot. There we go. Gotta make sure to get myself a screenshot for the thumbnail. Alright. Take your place. I will bear nothing. He forced my hand, Mark. There's nothing left for me to lose. There's only reason the only reason I've kept going through the years was for Heather. She was my singular denial. My one hope and memory of her. And she may never speak to me again. So when I ask myself why. Why did this happen? There's only one answer I reach. You. You ruined the small splinter of a life I had rebuilt. So allow me to bring you down with me. Suffer! Ah, shit. This is gonna be horrible, dude. 26. Okay. I have X items. I think I bought them last time. I bought three of all these X items. I want to try it real quick. So let's use an X special. Okay, never mind. I thought, I thought we still get to attack even if we use it, but I guess not. It would have just been easier to use nasty plot. This motherfucker has a focus sash. Oh, hit yourself, please, 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 fuck. Okay, we're not gonna win this battle. But we can try it. He has a fucking scun tank. So we know he has a scun tank. Oh god. I lived that. Holy shit. I'm gonna die to the poison, but I lived that. Okay. So he's scun tank, Skrelp. So Todd can handle the scun tank. We can mud shot it. Scun tank isn't that powerful. So that's a good thing, I guess. But he's not very powerful. The poison is going to be annoying. We have to, like, run through his team because the poison is going to be annoying as shit. The longer we let this go on, the harder it'll be for us, I think, because of the poison. So for us, we're literally just going to have to run through his team. Crow gunk. Okay, that'll be an easy W for us through uh, Creeper. If we can keep Creeper alive, that thing will be an easy one-shot. So level 28 as well. Okay. Soundwave could also handle it since it's fighting. We're going to one-shot. Wait. What? Why, did that, why, why was that neutral? Why was that neutral? The thing said nothing about, sound, about my air cutter being neutral. Oh, it's poison. Fuck. I forgot. It turned special flying type attacks into poison. That's why it's neutral. God damn it. Okay. We we're not going to win this battle. I'm not even going to try right now. I probably am going to end up having to level up my team a little bit more. At least to 30. Maybe. I might. Or I might not. I might just level up. I might just go get some money. Because money is probably what I need. So I'm going to end this here, guys. See you next time. Peace out.